I feel like it's one of those things where it, it makes people view you differently, you know what I mean? It's like, and also even like straight people and stuff, especially straight men, it's like, oh, you like little Nas X, you gotta be gay or something. Um, but like, yeah, that's it. I love you too. Uh, um, I'm sure some people here want to know when you can be next in Toronto performing. Um, I want to drop this good ass fire ass music first, and then I want to be back out there. Yeah. Um, there are a lot of great music documentaries, and, and we're actually showing the Talking Heads documentary at the festival, which is now uh, 40 years old. Some of them end up lasting a long, long time. Have you thought about what this might be like to watch 10 years later, or even longer? It captures a moment, right? You know, I actually... That's the, one of the main reasons I was like, you know what, let's do it. Because I know future me is going to watch this and be like, what the fuck, who is this? But, <laughs> but, but it's going to be like emotional and I know like, you know, 10 years from now, like who knows where the hell I would be and like how much I would have like, I would change the world and, and just, I don't know, still be like hit songs and all that stuff too. But I got, and you know, maybe like maybe with kids. And like a dog, <laughs> <laughs> like two dogs. I already have two cats, like two dogs and two cats. But yeah, that's it, that's it. <laughs> you think future you will be very different than who you are now? I think he's going to have my heart, because you know, uh, I've made it important for me for this last like, year or so to make sure I keep my inner child alive, because that's what keeps me going and like creative and, and just like loving myself, so yeah. Woo!